now let us start our discussion about poverty so the first thing is poverty line when we talk about poverty line poverty line is that threshold level of income maybe income there are different ways in which you can measure poverty but let's say that threshold level of income if you are not earning that threshold level of income you are below that threshold level of income you are considered to be poor if you are earning above than threshold level of income then you are considered to be non poor in india we have nutrition based poverty lines so when we talk about nutrition based poverty line we mean that what is the expenditure which is required to have minimum caloric requirement so when you eat something you you consume calories right so what is that minimum caloric requirement which is going to keep you healthy right and what is the expenditure which is required to have that minimum caloric requirement if you do not have that income or you are not making that expenditure uh, which is required to have that minimum caloric requirement you will be considered as poor but the main problem with nutrition based poverty lines are it is not that as if your income is going to increase you will experience that nutrition is also increasing nutrition doesn't unambiguously increase with income so that is the main problem then there are different types of poverty one is the absolute poverty see you know this that in order to live you need adequate amount of food adequate amount of clothing adequate amount of shelter if you don't have these then person is considered to be poor if person's income is not such or let's say if household's income is not such that it can provide with the adequate amount of food shelter clothing that person is absolutely poor that household is absolutely poor that is an absolute poverty right and then you have relative poverty now relative poverty is something which is in relation to others somebody might have lesser income than other people he might feel relatively poor in comparison to others so that is relative poverty so don't you think that we consider we consider ourselves better or worse off than other people in relation to our socio economic needs uh, this is always relative to where we are living uh, what goals others have achieved have we been able to achieve that uh, or what kind of shelter others have if we have similar kind of shelter we feel fine but if it is lesser than that we are relatively poor right so poverty line should also incorporate somehow some relative notion uh, into it uh, and then you have temporary or chronic poverty now temporary or chronic poverty would mean what suppose a leaf if some household or some individual is living very very near to poverty line and there is some economic shock which is given in the system maybe there is a there is a very huge uh, or very massive uh, unemployment which has uh, which is there or there is very massive recession which is there so because of that many people will lose their jobs and they will go below poverty line so they were above poverty line earlier before the economic shock but after economic shock it could be in terms of fall in aggregate demand or uh, there is recession or there is huge unemployment all of these are related things and because of that that individual has gone below the poverty line so it is a chronic poverty it is temporary poverty then there is some kind of problem in case if you are using household level data for poverty estimation instead of individual data there are two kinds of problems with that which uh, arise one problem is you are given with the household level expenditure do you think that how that household expenditure is going to be uniformly distributed among all the members of the households there is that is not generally seen generally what is seen is out of the total expenditure females and elderly they get very small proportion of the total household expenditure one thing second 
larger households they tend to have more children yes they are so do you think children consume same amount as adults no they don't so there also correction is required so these are the two problems which are associated with if you are using household level data instead of the individual data for poverty estimation right i hope uh, this was useful to you thank you beta